Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, we will talk about 5 things of Tweak Angela. Let's get started. So guys, welcome back and first one select this layer wood and move to center. Select this nail, let's put here and move to up to wood layer. And let's put here. Select this hammer, let's go to pen behind, move the anchor point down, Clization tool, and move to up. So in this time, let's press air, open rotation, chain rotation minus 90, and move to here. Okay, so right now let's make rotation keyframe, and let's move right, go to one second. And right now, let's chain rotation like this. So we have simple heat animation. Okay, so in this time, go to window, open Duyuk Angela. And after open Duyuk Angela, click this icon. I will use these features, but first, I want to use this cleaner. Select these two keyframes and go to cleaner, right mouse, select these bones, no simulation. And let's see animation. Okay, this is not good, but we can play with settings for better results. So first one, go to follow and change this 80 and this 50. Let's say again. Okay, and select these two keyframes, right mouse, go to keyframe, instant and easy is or click F9. And go to graph editor. Let's select this first keyframe, move right for heat animation. Let's see. Okay, let's see. Let's back to keyframe, select this last keyframe, move to left. Okay, not bad. Let's move to left more. Nice. And let's change this 70 or 60 okay not bad so guys that's all and we can play these settings for example let's change this 50 for more realistic animation okay that's good so we have simple shape layer for example ball and let's first move to the left and let's press P and right mouse go to separate dimension and make X position keyframe and go to here. Let's move to right. So let's see. Okay, we have simple animation with two keyframes. And select these two keyframes, go to again here. Let's click this cleaner and let's select in animate. Okay, let's see. Okay, that's good. And let's make new Y position keyframe. And go to three keyframes. And move to down. Like this. And go to back. Select this X position keyframe. Delete. Let's see. Okay, so select these two Y position keyframes. Go to again this cleaner click and select in animate okay and go to y position do it cleaner and open follow off and click bones let's see okay but we have high bones let's select this flex change 50 and change duration 65 let's say again animation Okay, not bad. So we can play the settings for better results. So guys, in this part I will show you very easy way for make car animation. We have three layers, car layer and wheels. This is first wheel and another wheel. Select these two wheels and go to Duik Angel, just click wheel. Okay, 
So, select these two wheel layers. Let's link to car layer. Select this car layer. And right now we can move to right this car with wheel rotations. So, let's press P, make new person keyframe and go to here. Let's move to right this car layer. Let's see. Okay, that's all. Very easy and fast way for create car animation. So guys, welcome back and first one, select this background layer and look here. Select these all layers and press S, make scale keyframe and go to 10 keyframes, click time duration, right here plus 10, click OK and change scales like this. Let's see. Okay, and let's hold shape, press R, open rotation, make rotation keyframe and go to here. Let's chain rotations random like this. And this rotations and this. Let's make this fast for random rotations. Okay, let's see. Nice. And again, select all layers with Ctrl plus A. And hold shift, press P. Make new passing keyframes and go to next keyframes. Let's change like this for random movements. Okay, let's see. Okay, nice. And let's change work area. Also, don't forget to select this layer. Let's move to like this. Okay, so. Select these all two frames. Let's change work area for see other areas. And go to do you can do it, click effector. So we have new controller. Select these effector controller. Let's see. Nice. We can make this animation for effector. We have very small settings. Go to Effector, we can change Inner Limit, like this, and Outer Limit, and Mode, Infinity Line, for make, like this animation, or Custom Shape, we can change with Pen Tool this Custom Shape. So back to Circle, and let's make animation, select this Effector, go to first second, press P, make new passing in frame and go to 10 frames. let's move to here, go 10 frames, move right, and go 10 frames, move to here, again 10 frames, move to here, again, like this for random effectors, so press N for select work area, and make two frames easy, let's see, nice, and select two frames, right mouse, two frame interpolation, Change auto bezier to linear. Click OK for smooth animation. Nice. Let's hide this effector. OK, very nice. Welcome to final part. And in this part, I will show you how to rig in character hand. First, select this background and lock layer. Select this hand and go to puppet pin tool. Let's add one puppet here and one here and one here. If you want to close these wireframes, click this checkbox. After add pins, go to click this icon. We can see here add pins. Let's select again this puppet here, here like this and click add pins. Okay, we have three puppet pins. Let's select this puppet pin 3, link to puppet pin 2, select puppet pin 2, link to puppet pin 1. And select these three puppets, go to click auto rig. So we have new controller, let's select and change hand controller. And let's zoom to here, let's see, nice. Let's hide this character, okay, very well, nice. Right now we can make animation, also we can change icon settings, let's go to icon. And we can change color here. 
select this green and we can change icon movements or position like this or move to down and we can change size and flip and orientation so for example select this control and let's press p make new position keyframe and go to here let's change the animation and go to here move to up and go to some keyframes move to right and go to here move to left select keyframes make easies and select work area with n in keyboard nice and let's select two frames right mouse keyframe interpolation change auto bezier to linear click ok let's say again okay select two frames hold alt move right so guys thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe channel like video and please follow me on instagram good luck